For want of some soft ground pro boots, some grip was lost. For want of better grip, some agility was lost. For want of agility, the ball was lost, which led to a counter attack. And while they may have missed their chance, it's pretty much the story of the game. Ladies and gentlemen, you are in the presence of a living legend, the one, the only, the Samba Magician. At times I lament my situation, uh, when I stepped into the changing room and saw we were missing a whole bunch of first team players and we had to rely on some youth players to get us through, I questioned what it was I was doing here. It's like some other things in life and some others that I know and their situation is easy, you're comfortable and why would you want to change that? We as humans fear the unknown and we hate what we don't understand. Sorry to get all philosophical and some would say arrogant, but sometimes I question why I'm here. I could be doing so much more in a better quality team, and I've even argued in the past that being deaf has actually limited what opportunities I've been given. But what of the match we played today? Well, it was a brand new start on our new home pitch, and I was appalled. The pitch is too narrow, too short, and would end up extremely tight in the middle. I never thought I'd actually look forward to away games more than home ones, but there you go. <coughs> I feel we started off very unsure of our surroundings and how to play, but eventually we settled in and grabbed the goal following a goal mouse scramble when Deo volleyed it in. I wouldn't say going 1-0 up was a surprise as the opposition wasn't anything special, but the manner which we conceded the equaliser frustrated me because you're tired of banging out the same message, do the basics properly, when in doubt, whack it out, not have delusions of grandeur and believe you have dribbling talent comparable to Messi and try and take on your man because you will lose the ball and I'm going to have to remonstrate you. So bruv yeah, basics yeah, that's why when we've got a throw in in our half, you throw it to our central defender and put him under pressure to lose the ball and for them to make it 1-1. Good job. You know what, it's cool because Jason, the centre defender, he made it up by advancing from his defensive position, putting in a firm challenge on the way to win it from the opposition continuing and then taking a shot which deflected off the defender, looped over the goalkeeper and into the back of the net. It was actually quite a spectacle too. Um, from the moment he made that run, it was like, this is only going to end one way and he's getting that goal. Yeah, it, it just felt like that. Ah! So yeah, half time and we were 2-1 up. Second half was the poorest start I've ever seen in my life. I knew some players' concentration levels and attention spans were bad, but to just not pay attention at the half-time kick-off, or... or it might have been when they had scored their goal and then we were kicking off from there. Um, How did they even score anyway? Um, I... Yeah, someone has to remind me. But either way, one of their goals came from Jason making an uncharacteristic bad pass, gifting the ball away for them to punish us, and yeah. Anyway, we found ourselves 3-2 down, and to be honest, I wasn't having an amazing game by my standards, but I was still hassling them with my dribbling, turning them inside out. One occasion saw me faint one direction, Johan Cruyff up to skin the man and then take a touch and then I was free until hopeless two-footed challenges from behind ended that run so with the free kick and knowing exactly how the wall has responded thus far to my free kicks I knew exactly what I was going to do on this one lo and behold the wall jumped and split like Moses split the Red Sea and my drive, low driving free kick found its way into the back of the net, courtesy of a little deflection from when the wall split. And all the all the time while I was doing my Lax's Dreyar celebration was exactly as planned. It finished 3-3. Three, three. 
And I'm disappointed in that it was a winnable game. And the team last week were a lot tougher. But it's understandable because we were missing a lot of first teamers. And I'd like to think that they would not have made the same mistakes that were made today. But of course that's all what ifs and buts and so forth. I honestly believe that I'm a much better player than last year. And I'm striving to improve myself in every game and learn something from each and every game. And what I've learned from this game is that trying to find some soft ground pro hyper venoms in a size 10 and a half is like trying to find a needle in a haystack because it would help out my game so much more. But yeah. alas, my search continues. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the Samba Magician. Accept no substitutes.